Welcome. In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to deploy always on availability groups on our cloud volume service. The NetApp cloud volume service provides a high volume cloud native file service with rich data management capabilities based on NetApp ONTAP. It is currently available in three major public clouds such as AWS, Azure, and Google. Cloud volume provides easy management. There's no need for operational support. It also can be managed through Cloud Console to allow provisioning, managing, and monitoring. It fits the model of pay-as-you-go consumption, which matches with that of public cloud computing. In this demo, we will demonstrate how to create our cloud volume and grant proper permissions in the SQL Server service account. In this example, we will use the underscore SQL admin account. Then we will create a database that has data files residing over SMB shares. We will then back up and restore this new database, followed by adding a replica node and performing a test failover for high availability. First off, we'll open Server Manager and select Add Roles and Features, selecting the failover clustering feature to be added to our Prod03 server, followed by restarting the instance. On our second node, Prod04, we'll do the same using the following line in PowerShell. From the failover cluster manager, we can create our new cluster, entering the names of our two instances, Prod03 and 04. Under the Testing Options portion, we'll change the setup to run only test I select, and uncheck the Storage option due to the nature of our SMB environment. After letting the validation complete, finish the setup and give the cluster a name, and be sure to uncheck the Add All Eligible Storage to the cluster, because we will not be using disk during this process. Once the cluster shows in the Cluster Manager, navigating to the Nodes page will show each instance we've just added, with no roles or storage yet applied. In the SQL Server Config Manager, we'll change the services properties to enable Always On, which automatically detects the cluster name. And we'll need to restart the SQL Server service for both servers. Through the Cloud Volume Portal, we've created three SMB shares, one for each of the production servers, and one to serve as a backup repository. For more details on creating SMB shares and configuring permissions, you can refer to the Deploying SQL Server over SMB video. Now we can validate that our SQL Server resides in our SMB share by viewing the properties of our Seattle Retail Database under Files, Path. By running the following transact SQL script, we can back up the database and log to the SMB share. With this second script, we will restore the same Seattle retail database and log to our secondary volume. It is important here that the restore option be performed with the no recovery option specified due to this being a clustered always on environment. Refreshing the prod04 instance shows our database in the restoring mode. Now we're going to create our always on environment by using the creation wizard. We'll set the group name, select our database Seattle Retail, provide our replica destination, select the automatic failover option for both instances, and select readable secondary if desired. Our data synchronization option should be set to join only. Reason being that we cannot perform automatic seeding when using an SMB share, because automatic seeding would expect a matching drive letter across both instances. After the wizard completes, you'll see listed that SQL Server Management Studio shows Prod03 had been granted the role of primary and Prod04 secondary. 
In the failover cluster manager under roles, our availability group is now listed with the status of running. If we proceed to manually fail over, our roles will have swapped between the two instances, showing prod04 as the new primary. Under our tables view, you can see that deleting the error log on our primary mirrors the update across the cluster as the table no longer exists on prod03. In summary, you can see the Cloud Volume Service provides simple data management functionality, support for multiple protocols, allows us to sync data from on-prem or from Cloud Volume to Cloud Volume, gives us snapshot and cloning capabilities, and supports REST APIs. Thank you for watching and be sure to look for more videos on Cloud Volume SQL deployments.